We're now 100 days to go from the start of the Rugby World Cup. With your help and the work that you've been doing, we can make Rugby World Cup a really big success when it comes to Leicester from October the 4th to the 11th. Camera one, two, three. Tomorrow marks uh, 100 days to go until the, the World Cup kick is off in Twickenham. Uh, so we come here today to the Space Centre. Um, we've got uh, five schools from Leicester uh, and they've all been really uh, really working hard contributing towards promoting the Rugby World Cup in the city so uh, as a bit of a reward we're uh, bringing them around the uh, Space Centre doing some challenges uh, having a bit of fun day off school uh, what kid doesn't know we've been learning about the different countries that are taking part in the Rugby World Cup well we've been learning about all the teams that are coming to Leicester to play it's a hundred in a hundred days in October and like the first week or something, I'm not sure what it is, but then they're doing it in Leicester. Part of our ambition is to create a legacy from the World Cup that it, that makes uh, kids want to play rugby. Uh, it, it's, it's a huge part of uh, us going forward. We need as many uh, players as possible in the future. And some of these kids who go to the schools in, in the city don't necessarily get exposed to rugby. Uh, it's obviously big out in the in the uh, in the shire, in, in the rest of the county. Uh, but the city perhaps is more football dominated. So we're trying to appeal to them. And, and if we can if we can recruit recruit a few players to, to play tag or touch or whatever, uh, great. But I think it's just important that uh, uh, rugby in general exposes itself as much as possible to young people. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, the World Cup, 100 days to go. I'm really going to enjoy the World Cup because i got tickets to Argentina and Fiji. I want like to see um, England play in and, yeah, and I want them to win. I really want England to win, but then New Zealand look like the best. England, hopefully England, but I think New Zealand will win it. Australian Hurricanes are predicted in the Caribbean.